Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm an exercise therapist. Today we're here to perform an effective program for people suffering from osteoarthritis. This program can help people suffering from osteoarthritis reduce their pain, increase their mobility, increase physical function, their speed of walking, as well as overall aerobic capacity. But before you begin any kind of exercise program, be sure to consult with your physician to make sure that you're both fit and healthy enough to do the program, take breaks when necessary, and of course, avoid painful movements. This program is good because the bicycle helps people exercise while reducing stresses placed on joints, as well, it's an excellent way to lose weight, as well as many other quality of life improvements. So, let's begin. Okay, we'll start off by doing some stretches. So first, we'll start off by stretching the neck, ears to shoulders, and we will do this 10 times. Next, we'll be looking side to side, do this for 10 times as well. Next, we'll be looking down 10 times. Followed by 10 shoulder rolls backwards. All right, now we'll also be getting arms to the side, making small circles backwards getting progressively bigger until they cross in front. Okay, now we'll do some hip circles, 10 times. Now we'll work on the, the lower body. So hold on to the bike. We'll do some ankle circles. We'll do 10. And then the left. Okay. Now we'll do some knee circles. And the left. <clears throat> now whole leg circles, working the hip. And on the left. All right. Now for the last part of the warm up, if you have the space, we would be walking back and forth fast for about 30 seconds. But if not, we'll just stay on the spot and walk. Being sure to pick up the knees as high and comfortably as you can. All right. Now we're all warmed up. So before we begin cycling, we need to make a few adjustments to the bike. First, the seat. We need to adjust the height of the seat so that on the lowest part of your pedal, there's only 10 degrees of flexion in the knee or slightly bent. The second will be the handlebars. We need to adjust the handlebars so that you can sit comfortably and upright. Lastly, the resistance on the, the wheel. For you would want little to no resistance on the wheel, but if you think that's a little bit too easy, feel free to increase accordingly. For this program, you can choose to either work out at high intensity or low intensity. If you choose to work out at high intensity, you'll want to look for about 70% that of your heart rate max. If you want to work at low intensity, you want to search for about 40% of your heart rate max. At the beginning of this program, you will only be biking for about 15 minutes, but towards the end, 30 minutes. You can always use a heart rate monitor linked up to the bicycle as well as your watch to help you uh, find out your heart rate. So let's begin. So now after we've done the bicycling part, we'll now do the stretching for the cool down. The first stretch we'll do, we'll focus on the quadriceps. So we're just gonna bring our knee up, holding onto the pants if you're having difficulties, and hold that for about 10 seconds. All right, afterwards drop the leg down with the same leg, stick in the front, back leg straight, both feet pointing forward. We'll stretch out the calves on the back leg. All right, afterwards we'll turn to face the side. Front leg, toe pointing 45 degrees to the left, straight and bend the knee at the back, and I'll stretch out the groin. Okay. And then repeat for the other side. To take your pulse, there are two places on the body to landmark for. 
you can either look for the heart rate on the neck or on your wrist. Count the number of beats that have passed by in 15 seconds, and then take that number and multiply by 4 to get your beats per minute. Or you can get a heart rate monitor, which will display your heart rate on your watch.